Welcome everyone, I am Hubert Oro, urologist consultant at Hospital Argenteuil, and I am going to show today a radical prostatectomy with lymph node dissection performed by Versus Surgical Robot. Our scrub nurse is draping one of the robotic arms. This is a 360 degrees video, and you would be able to scroll around and explore the theater. We are now doing what we call the port training. We place the tip of the instrument or the camera at the limit of the skin and we do rotational movement to make the system identify the pivot point, which is the entrance point of the instrument inside the abdomen. The surgery starts by dropping down the bladder. This uh, step is very easy, and sometimes we can do it laparoscopically. Once the bladder is dropped down, we expose the anterior face of the prostate, and we expose also the endopelvic fascia. The endopelvic fascia is open, and the pubo-prostatic ligaments are exposed and dissected. Then we cut the pubo-prostatic ligament and we expose the really lateral aspect of the prostate at the angle of the urethra and the prostate. Right now you can see the pubo-prostatic ligament is cut. If you look at the patient's side, you will see that we have three arms on the right side of the patient, one for the camera and two for the instruments. On this side we have a grasper and a scissors. And on the left side, we have one arm for the Maryland Bipolar. This is the preparation for the next step, which will be the, the stitch put on the dorsal vein complex. So now the angle is exposed. The DVC is ligated using a 2-0 Vicro. For this uh, step, we use two needle holders. Then we separate the prostate from the bladder with a bladder neck preservation. We use the monopolar scissors and uh, we try to to preserve the bladder neck very precisely. We start by trying to find a plan with some fat tissue and then following this fat tissue plan we reach the fibers of the bladder The bladder is uh, separated from the prostate with a conservation of the bladder neck. The assistant is uh, placed at the left side of the patient. He uses a trocar which is placed near and between the trocar of the camera and the trocar of the green arm. This trocar is uh, preferably used for the aspiration instrument. 
the assistant can have another trocar for the clips or for the grasper. This uh, second assistant trocar is placed near and under the green arm. As you can see on the screen, the Blanonek is uh, really well preserved. We can see the Foley catheter. So the catheter is a pull out and used for putting up the prostate so that we can reach the posterior aspect of the prostate. For surgeons with long experience of laparoscopy, starting robotic surgery can be difficult due to the port placement modification. One big advantage with Virtus system is that the port placement remains the same than in laparoscopy. This is also a big advantage for hybrid procedures, especially useful at the beginning of the learning curve. If you look at the arms, you will see that the purple arm is holding a grasper and retracting the bladder. The orange arm is holding the monopolar scissors, which can work easily under the purple arm. We usually use a metallic curved mandrel to lift up the prostate. Sometimes, due to a high patient BMI or when the instrument cannot reach the targeted area, the arm can be easily moved around the table. This is the vast difference. The vast different are cut with the monopolar scissors. The seminal arteries are cauterized with the bipolar Maryland instrument. If you move the image to the surgeon console, you will notice that it is open. The surgeon is installed in a relaxed position and he can communicate with the operative room team very easily.
he wears 3D glasses and the screen is in 3D. If you go back to the internal view, you will see that I am now performing a preservation of the neurovascular bundles by peeling the lateral face of the prostate thanks to the articulation of the instruments. At this step, we try not to use energy to preserve the nerves. When the prostate is completely free, we can now dissect the apex and try to preserve the sphincter. This is the opening of the retra at the apex of the prostate. And you can see that we try to keep safe all the fibers of the sphincter. The prostate is dropped in an uh, endobag. You can see appearing the metallic mandrel inside the urethra. And we cut the last attach between the prostate and the urethra at the apex. The prostate is completely detached and put in a bag. Then we start the lymph node dissection using clips. The lymph node dissection is uh, performed on the standard way on both sides. The anastomosis is then performed. To do so, we first proceed on a posterior wall reconstruction before the anastomosis itself. The anastomosis is done with a barbered absorbable thread. So this is the reconstruction. We take the tissue under the bladder and the denonvillier fascia. And then the anastomosis is finished. And thank you very much for watching the video.